I am Dr. Rajiv, Consultant Nephrologist in Sunshine Hospitals. Today I would like to talk about kidney transplantation. So what is kidney transplantation? Kidney transplantation is a procedure we do when we take a kidney from a person whom we call as a donor. This person could be a living person or it could be a dead person which is called a cadaveric donation. And then we transplant it, that is we put it into the body of a person who requires it. And this is a person who is suffering from chronic kidney disease. Now, who are the patients who require kidney transplantation? So typically, a patient who is suffering from chronic kidney disease requires kidney transplantation as this is the best treatment for uh, renal failure. You can do dialysis for chronic kidney disease, but dialysis is a very unsatisfactory mode of treatment. Why? Because 70% of all dialysis patients die within 5 years of undergoing dialysis. There are 5 stages in chronic kidney disease and kidney transplantation is typically done in patients who are in stage 5. But there is an exception. In children, we can do kidney transplantation even in stage 4 because we want them to attain normal renal function before they lose their growth capacity secondary to CKD. So what does kidney transplantation actually involve? Well, it's a legal process, it's also a medical and surgical process. The government of India has set strict guidelines on who can undergo a kidney transplant or rather who can be a kidney donor. Once those requirements are met, then we move to the medical and surgical aspects. The medical aspect involves evaluation of the donor to make sure that the donor is healthy enough to be able to donate a kidney and the donor, we should be absolutely sure, will not have any long-term consequences from having done this altruistic act. The recipient we also check to see whether the recipient is fit for surgery. We also like to look at what is the probability that this kidney transplant surgery will be successful. This involves doing immunological tests. We also do tests for fitness. This can be cardiac evaluation, gastric evaluation and so many other evaluations. Only when all the medical and surgical requirements are fulfilled, then we actually go for the kidney transplant surgery. Typically, the operation takes three to four hours and after the surgery, the patient is nursed in a ICU setting with single barrier nursing and the urine output of the patient is monitored because typically these patients will pass around 10 to 15 liters of urine per day and once their renal function stabilizes then we discharge them and then after a few months of very strict precautions with regard to hygiene and medications these patients essentially lead normal lives and we have kidney transplant patients who are alive even 30 years after their surgery and the procedure is well established. The first kidney transplant took place somewhere in the 1950s and there are patients who have been alive for decades. So this is a safe procedure, a well established procedure and there is no doubt that this is the best treatment for chronic kidney disease. Thank you. Sunshine. It's